this beautiful tree. It doesn't have any leaves right now, obviously, because it's still winter, but... And then there's this little pond, and these ponds have frogs in them um, in the summertime and tadpoles in the spring. <laughs> um, when I was a little kid, I was horrible, and I actually used to go in there and, like, catch them with nets. But I'd always release them after. I feel bad now about that, but I had a great time as a kid. <laughs> But yeah, it's really beautiful here. I love going to the park and there's like forested areas to go into, but I don't think my stamina is that good yet to be able to um, hike the trails. So I kind of have to stay somewhat close to the parking lot, but I'm working on it. There's little bits of frost on the ground, which is crazy because it's actually 12 degrees Celsius today. So it's um, somewhat warm. And I'm sorry for those loud noises. We're right next to the parking lot. But yeah, look at the frost. Insane. These are so pretty. I don't know what they are, but they're really pretty. Guys, there's actually a pond with ice still on it. Which is so strange because it's a really warm day. So, well, if 12 degrees is warm. But look at that. So cool makes me think of the surface of Europa or something how it has those crisscross lines hey guys welcome to a new studio vlog um, I'm sorry if you can hear construction noises or my neighbors upstairs ah, it's annoying and it's loud but what can you do right so anyway um, I'm just filming this little intro to the vlog um, I already have all my clips filmed I just haven't really appeared on camera during the vlog just because I've been busy and haven't really thought to do any clips so I just wanted to say a friendly hello and uh, let's get into it. Basically everything I have to do and I'm being very honest right now this is like an honest studio type situation I have all of this stuff packaging stuff all this stuff to organize and this is my whole work area Admittedly, it is a mess, and I have to say I am not one of those um, super clean, aesthetic uh, studio vlog people. Like, I've got stuff everywhere. <laughs> I think I'm one of those people who functions a bit better in chaos for some reason, and I guess that's just how it goes. But um, I'm turning this area into my packaging station to get ready for um, packaging orders that I will hopefully get. <laughs> and um, this is my computer station. And um, I just did some stuff on my Squarespace shop today. I um, inputted the taxes for the Canadian provinces because I'm in Canada. And then that's my printer station over there. Kind of see the printer if I move like that. And then over there is where I do the art. And then that's my couch and there's tons of crap on my couch too and yeah <laughs> so hopefully I'll be able to show you a before and after of this place a little bit more organized but yeah that's what I'm up to today. I cut off all of the side flaps on my cardboard boxes with my cello bags and um, um, stiff mailers <laughs> and um, I did that for like easy access into them. And so I did that with these up here and these back here. And I'm gonna need to put some sort of covering on them so dust doesn't get in and my cat doesn't, cause she'll sit on everything. So I have to make sure that it's covered so her cat fur doesn't get in. But yeah, that's what I've got so far. And um, I'll probably cover them with a plastic bag, honestly, or something like that. So yeah. I'm using foam as coverings for the boxes. <laughs> Ingenious or tacky? Who knows? As long as it works, right? I got my new stickers in the mail from Sticker App and um, they look pretty good on camera, but in reality, they're a lot darker than what I would have liked. Um, they actually show up really well on camera, but um, they're in person, like I said, they're a lot darker. And the image is this image, which isn't exactly showing up right on camera right now because 
I'm filming on my uh, iPhone filming my iPad, but the colors are a lot brighter in the original uh, painting and they're just so dark on here and I'm a little bit like, hmm, <laughs> what do I do? So I'm probably going to sell these stickers. I got a whole bunch of them. I'm probably going to sell them for a little bit cheaper than I regularly would. So I'm going to have to come up with a good price for that. And then if I get them remade, because I, I do love them, I think they're beautiful. If I get them remade, then I'm probably going to have to up the brightness and color, like saturation a bit, so that they print brighter. But yeah, I love how the eyes and the moon look. And this is the glitter hollow effect. And I got it on the nails too. It's kind of hard to see, but and the moon and everything. Yeah, they're super pretty. So I think I definitely don't feel bad about selling them. Just, um, I wish that they had turned out more like the uh, original painting. Oh well, this stuff happens. Today I'm gonna be going through a whole bunch of my original artwork and scanning stuff and um, picking out which originals I want to list for sale on my shop launch, so yeah. So right now I'm just editing out all of the dust and hairs and fragments and things in my scan. And um, yep, just using the healing brush tool. My scroll keeps on going because my computer is slow. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm just editing all that junk out and so that the print will turn out good. And uh, I guess I better show you the print that I'm working on. It's um, this mermaid right here. So I'm excited about that. Oh, those stupid Windows updates, am I right? I always put it on Remind Me tomorrow. <laughs> hey guys, hope you're having a good evening. I am sorting through print, uh, bleh, sorting through originals that I want to sell in my shop launch. And I came across these two oldies. They're from 2011. I used to do a lot more fairy art back then. And um, yeah, uh, sorry about my shadow. Um, and so this one's supposed to be a moon fairy. And then this one's supposed to be a sun fairy. And I never painted the background on her. But anyway, the originals are too damaged with like crap to actually sell um, the originals. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make prints of them, even though they're old and I think my drawing has advanced a lot since then. I really still love the style and uh, I love these pieces. So I think I might make them available for prints. And I'll probably finish the background on this one and put like sunflowers in or something like that with a sun. And yeah, that's my thought process. Remember how I said my cat would be sitting on everything? Well, here she is sitting right on my packaging materials, looking ever so cute, but getting her fur everywhere. Thankfully, everything is safe with plastic or uh, this foam stuff, but um, yeah, you just can't help it when you have pets. This is what happens. So, so this um, fairy cleaned up really nice in Photoshop. Um, she went from, oh, I still have it in the scanner. Just one second. I'll grab that. So she went from this where there's um, all this stuff on it. And now totally clean and perfect. Yes. That's what I like to see. I don't know if I mentioned it already, but I'm working on a Draw This In Your Style from Lola Draws Things. This is her original piece, and then this is my interpretation of it. And uh, yeah, um, I, I'm kind of doing this in my downtime when I'm not working on shop stuff. <laughs> Always doing art, right? So yeah, um, I hope it turns out good, but we'll just have to wait and see. So I'm just chilling on my bed watching some Justine um, from Kicking Geese and I scanned this picture and fixed it up and everything and it's on my Instagram now. And then um, you see how it has, there's the fairy and then the background here. So um, these are from 2011 and uh, 
I always wanted to offer them as a set of prints and I'm finally going to do it. <laughs> and um, I never did her background and the paper is really, really crummy. So um, I'm going to actually paint her background in my watercolor sketchbook and she's a sun fairy. So she's going to have sunflowers, sunshine, and some clouds, and yeah. So let's see how this experiment turns out. I'm going to have to match the colors that are in her outfit here with um, the colors that I want to do here. And um, um, I used Copics on a lot of it, and I don't really use them anymore. So I'm going to have to match them with watercolors, and that'll be... An interesting thing so <laughs> yeah I just thought I'd share that with you guys and see uh, let's see how it turns out all right guys so I finished inking the p background for the fairy and yeah looks pretty good gonna watercolor it now and see how it turns out I'm gonna combine these two images and um, see how they look. I'm gonna be using Adobe Photoshop and uh, yeah this will be right here. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys um, why I decided not to use this background here with the fairy. I felt like the colors didn't match well enough and I guess I could have changed them digitally but I also felt like all the detail in the sunflowers and everything took away from all the detail in her and um, I felt like it was a lot of detail it was kind of overpowering and so what I did was I took the background out and I moved her to the center and I feel like that's a much better print even though the moon fairy does have a background I feel like she just didn't need one. So I got my coffee right here and my bullet journal right here with my list of things to do before I launch my shop. And so number one is finish my listings on Etsy. Number two is calculate shipping for them. Number three, I wanna test print my five by seven prints. Um, number four, add a countdown to my IG stories. And um, those are things that I need to get done today. Um, and then this is the priority in which I need to do them. So, yeah. Um, I also need to finish my painting. The bleh, I need to finish the little painting I'm working on. And um, I need to post that painting to Instagram by tomorrow and announce my shop launch in the description of the painting. Um, I need to post my studio vlog to YouTube. I'm gonna try and have that edited and this vlog edited and up. So we'll see if I'm able to do that in time. And then I have to, um, this can also be saved till tomorrow or whenever I make um, my first sales. I need to make my thank you extras stickers and I'm gonna have to hand cut them because um, I still haven't set up my Cricut. I know I'm the worst. <laughs> And so, um, and then I have someone um, named Ox, who's an awesome artist. He makes comics and illustrations and all sorts of stuff. Um, he is going to be, he's wanted to get um, some prints from me for a while and uh, I just haven't been ready to do it, but um, I'm putting together a custom listing for him. And yeah, so I'm super excited about all of this. It's finally coming together. And I've, I feel like I've been working at gathering supplies and just everything I've been working at for probably a year now, maybe longer, and it's finally happening and it's super exciting. And I just, even if I like don't make any sales, I'm still super excited to have my shop actually be up with all my art prints in it and my new sticker design and it's just so exciting. So I hope you guys go and check out my shop when it's up. It should be up now, I guess, if I'm posting the vlog, so yeah. 
All right, so I'm trying out printing the five by seven print. And this is just a test print on, oh, what the heck is that noise? <laughs> Apartment living, right? Anyway, um, I'm test printing on some watercolor paper. What is that? <laughs> Anyway, and this isn't the paper I'm going to be using for my prints. I just wanted to make sure that I knew how to um, print 5x7s and that my printer could do it right without too much of a hassle. So let's see how it turned out. Pretty good. Pretty good. The colors are really uh, desaturated. They're not um, correct on this paper, but it's not printer paper, so that makes sense. They The colors will be correct on the correct paper so yeah I'm pretty pleased with this guys just wanted to let you know that my shop is launching tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time I'll have originals prints and stickers available and um, it's on my Etsy shop the link is in my bio and even if you just go over to check it out or you reshare it on Instagram I would be so thankful and oh my god I'm so so excited e <laughs> And um, I'll be posting on here again once it actually goes live. So see you then. All right, guys, it's officially 6.59. My alarm on this phone that I'm recording on is going to go off any second at 7 to let me know to launch my shop. So be prepared to hear that, hear that disruptive noise. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. I'm freaking out. So all I have to do is press this publish right here. And all of my 27 listings will go live. Oh my god. My mom's with me and she's standing behind me. <laughs> I'm freaking out. I know this is probably stupid. Right. I'm gonna do it. Publish. And I have to do the 20 cent listing fee. Are they all live? Huzzah! You've published 27 listings. Oh my god. It's live! Ah, I am so excited! Okay, so let's see what my shop looks like. So if I go here, and then I refresh. Oh, why isn't it? It takes a few minutes. Oh, my mom said it takes a few minutes, but yeah, it says um, all 30 listings. So these are ones I already had up. So yeah. All right, come on. Okay, they're all up. Oh my God, I'm so excited. My cat's like freaking out and here's everything. Wow. I'm so unbelievably pumped. Yes. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, this video should be coming out soon. So when you um, see this, uh, my shop is live. And feel free to check it out. And I'd love it if you'd share a link to my shop on your social media to your friends, family, etc. And no pressure to buy or anything like that, even if we're friends and you want to support me. A share or a comment or a nice word is uh, just fine and wonderful. So, yeah, thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you in the next vlog.
that loud noise, you know, construction. <laughs> but yeah, I really love how she turned out. The original and prints will be available in my shop probably um, in a few days. So yeah, I hope you like her too.